Hey guys, it's Ryan from Myline Boots, and today I am super excited to announce to you that I've got a new partnership going with the Renewal Institute. Together we'll be looking at matters of skin care, skin health, with the leaders in this field. And we'll be discussing certain topics over the next couple of weeks with Dr. Leston Lawn, who'll be taking us through things to consider, things to do. I look forward to sharing this with you. So let's start with our first topic. Today we are discussing something that's very close to my heart, men's skin care. We'll be looking at why should you even be considering skincare as a man and what are the benefits to maintaining a good skincare regime. Come with me as we meet Dr. Leston and delve into this topic. Welcome, Dr. Leston. And you've been practicing aesthetic medicine for the last eight years, of which the last four have been here at Skin Renewal. Yes, that's correct, right. Good. Thank you for being with us today. Now, Dr. Leston, today we are talking about a topic which most men shy away from or just plain ignore. Why do you think that is and do you see things changing? As South Africans, Ryan, we've always been a really conservative nation and um, it was always rumoured that men shouldn't worry about putting on body lotions or putting on cream. And I think that uh, people just weren't aware of the damage that the environment and our lifestyle causes to our skin. Having said that, Dr. Leston, what are the possible consequences of not caring for one's skin? There could be variable things happening um, to people. You can develop acne, you can develop eczema, psoriasis, um, pigmentation. So all early signs of aging and then obviously then the more dangerous things like cancer, skin cancer, so melanomas and uh, that could be very dangerous. Considering all you've said so far then, Dr. Liston, what constitutes a good skincare regimen and how should I go about planning such a thing for myself? At the Renewal Institute, it's really individualised and it will depend on the patient or the person's specific concerns. Um, male patients usually don't like to go through layers and layers of stuff. Time is a factor. So I usually tend to use cleansers that already contain certain acids so that patients don't have to use a toner afterwards. And then combination creams work very well for male patients. Okay, so then maybe what you would then be doing is putting two steps together in one multi-purpose type cream. Absolutely. Dr. Leston, does a men's skincare regimen differ from that that the ladies would follow? Not necessarily, Ryan. It would again just depend on the individual. What then are the most common concerns that us guys have? It would be things like acne and pigmentation. I think it also happen quite often. Um, rosacea patients or sensitive skin, um, excessive body hair, skin tags. Those are uh, the conditions that one would find with male patients. Let's chat briefly about the guy with the beard. Is he exempt from skin care? Most definitely not. Um, he could definitely also develop ingrown hairs then, which um, could be unsightly on the skin. And the rest of the face is still exposed to the elements and to your lifestyle. So it's both internally and externally that one needs to take into account. Lastly, Dr. Liston, talk us through injectables and the considerations for us guys specifically. We have three tools in our arsenal of injectables for anti-aging. Um, Botox and fillers and threads, which are soluble surgical sutures. These could be used for both male and female. Male patients um, tend to need a lot more Botox than female patients because our facial muscles are just a bit stronger. Okay. Um, we also suffer from volume loss. That's a, an early sign of aging, especially mid-face volume loss. So fillers could help a lot there. Dark circles around the eyes. And I would usually first start with by just doing a little bit of Botox and filler because, again, conservative patients, very skeptical. Um, you don't want everybody to necessarily know that you've had work done. So I would just address one area and then maybe a month later look at it doing a second area. Okay. I think it's been my experience that having a doctor like yourself, you build a trust relationship and it's a, it's a journey that you go on with the doctor. You don't just suddenly start at 100%. You, you, you build confidence with each other and we try a little bit more next month, a little bit more the next month. So Dr. Liston, thank you very much for your advice today. I can definitely attest to the benefits of following a proper skincare regimen as a guy. I've been following a skincare routine for many, many years in my life. And I look forward to talking to you about so many more uh, topics about skin care and skin health as we take our skins from good to great. It's a pleasure, Ryan. Thanks for having me.